So, staying healthy is not just about you. It can be about everybody that's around you, okay? Whether it's your family, whether it's your partner, whether it's your kids, all these different things really play a pivotal role in your health. And you're thinking, well, why? It's my health, right? What does it, what does it have to do with them? It really does include them because you're around them. They want to have you around. So. Why aren't you worried about your health? I know a lot of people out there, especially the old school generations, that don't want to go to doctors. They think it's all garbage. And at that point, they really wait until it's too late to really help themselves in some of these situations that they might need medical attention, okay? And at that point, they're really not thinking about the people around them. It's, it's kind of like a selfish thought, all right? And you might not think about it at the time because you're like, listen, I'm tough. I don't need this. You know, whatever it is, it is, and I'll just go through it but your family and your loved ones are going through those things with you. There's trials and tribulations that you might have to go through and you might need your family there. So at that point, you don't want to wait till your health is in such a decline to go get help. If you find things in the earlier stages, then you could possibly have a better outcome, right? Or might prevent more damage being done to your body, which will boost up your health and boost up your family morale or loved ones near you. They don't want to see you unhealthy. They don't want to see you sick. They don't want to see you in a hospital bed. They want to enjoy you and you should want to enjoy them too. That's why your health is so important because without your health, you have nothing. You will be in a bed and you will be dying, okay? It might be a slow death, it might be a fast death, but that's the facts. I don't want to sugarcoat things out there because I think things are sugarcoated enough. And really think about your family or loved ones or grandkids or whoever's around you that you really care about. Are they going to want to see you gone quick or fast? Probably not. And are you going to want to enjoy the little moments that you might miss if you're sick or dead? No, you don't want to miss those moments. That's what we live life for. Those little moments in time. That's what we remember. That's what brings us joy. So guys, focus in on your health. Make it a priority. If you haven't prioritized your health now, listen to me, do it now. Take the steps that you need to go forward and be a healthier, better you. And if you're looking for help in these departments, contact us here at Titan Medical Center. Call or text us, 727-389-3220. We'd be happy to go through some of the therapies or treatments or blood work that could possibly help you live a more improved quality of life and improve the quality of life and health around you too as well. Take the lead, guys. I promise you will not be let down. Guys, so me, the family, we're here at AMC, and we just watched the new Batman movie, right? So this thing has been hyped up, 10 out of 10 Rotten Tomatoes. So opening night, we decide we're gonna come here. Obviously, my brother here, Eric, has the Batman right. shirt on, right? We're big fans, right? Huge fans. Remember the first Batman, I Michael love Keaton, Batman. 1989, Nine. Tim Burton classic, okay? And it's been through some different different characters as far as right. Batman and obviously the last trilogy with Christopher Nolan and Christian, Christian Bale phenomenal all three of those movies so we had big expectations for this one right guys yeah. Yeah, I had very 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 high expectations for this movie especially with all the hype out there yeah. all right so a lot of hype 
you know, basically, I, we're not going to do any spoilers, but it was a great movie as far as storyline. This is this is John's opinion. As far as storyline, I think it was great. I think the, you know, as far as the villains, they were really good. Plot, set up, straight. Patterson is Batman. I don't know if he needed maybe a little bit more of a, a beard so, or, so, or what, it, what, yeah. what, what, what exactly it was he was missing. You know, I remember when they were making the movie, and this is like COVID, like, right? So, and he was talking about you don't have to work out to be Batman. Right. Well, this dude needs to go hit the gym because he made Batman look puny. All right. I know we don't have to be that big, but even the face and the helmet and everything like that, you'll see. I think that was a letdown. I, I asked John in the middle of the movie if this was when Batman was like 19 or 20. You're he two. told me yes. You're two. You're two. It wasn't the <laughs> he early. He said yes. Batman, that lined right? up. This is lined up. It um, lined up. You know, Joe, uh, the Riddler. <laughs> Phenomenal, like Riddler's the best part. I, yeah, I think the that Riddler, probably yeah, was the best part. Solo show. Yeah, big setup with the penguin in there. That was cool. Uh, I don't know. It was it was a good movie. I, I think out of five stars, I'm gonna give it a three. What do you guys think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it probably a, a two and a half. Two and a half out of five. And I, listen, I'm a huge yeah. fan of Batman. I love Batman. I mean, yeah, so do listen, I. My, my favorite version of Batman is probably Bane. Bane and Joker, the last two have been the best. So my expectations were way up here. So, I mean, I don't know. That's why I've given it the stars I've given it. How about you, Eric? Say three, two. Three out of five? Three out of five. What do you think was the best part? Uh, best part was definitely the Riddler and um, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, for the, the, the parts of the movie you the did Batmobile, see? The Batmobile, the Batmobile. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Wow. wow. Out of five. Out of Who five. Five? Yeah, five. One out of five. One out of five. Whoa. Well, he was only up half the movie, so he got the, like half a review of it. So he's pretty close. It is what it is, but you know what? Don't listen to our reviews. Take it for what it is. Grain of salt. Everybody's different. Go see it yourself. You know, maybe we'll watch it a second time, and we might like it a lot more. We're gonna Who knows? watch it again, but it it'll will. probably be maybe a half. We will. Point, we will definitely go see more. it again. And you know what? If the review changes, we'll do an update for it. But that's what we're uh, we're sticking with right now, right? right? So go see the Batman, see what it is, check it out, and maybe you'll have your better review than us. Batman! Do you feel tired with no energy or strength? Do you want to feel younger? Do you want to be healthier and perform at optimal levels? Titan Medical Center can help you feel better, look better, and perform at optimal levels. We can service you in office or via telemedicine nationwide. From peptide therapies to custom IV and nutrient drips, concierge medicine, detox rejuvenation therapy, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, medical weight loss, hormone replacement therapy, blood work, and much more. Call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Hey guys, John Sikoris here, entrepreneur, business owner, and uh, I wanted to share some tips that I've learned along the way, or maybe some red flags to look out for. Um, this video today is going to be about scammers. So when you start getting into business or you want to get into business, or you're looking to make a buck, right? you go out there and you search the internet or things just pop up on your timeline or in your email that look really interesting and try to pull you in. You know, make a thousand dollars in two days or whatever it may be, right? Or well, this business is the best business in sliced bread, right? Or well, we've redesigned the tire or wheel and we're gonna just push this out here and you're gonna be on the you know the 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 first edge of all this investment in industry, right? So when you see these different things out there, you know, one rule I go by and live by is if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Those old sayings are true every time. You know, when I was a little kid, I didn't believe them all. And as I've grown up and I've seen these things from my own eyes, I definitely believe them more and more. So with this, you want to make sure whatever you're going to do that you get educated on it, right? You know, spend some time and really dig. Educate yourself by going on the internet, looking for these different companies that you want to get into or the business that you want to get into. Look and see if it's legit. And you can't just look up the business name because these people have ghost writers and they're writing all this different content and that's what's going to pop up with that keyword. So that's all you see. So you want to look for like reviews on companies or bad reviews on companies or any information on these companies. And that's probably where you'll hit the jackpot if you're going to find anything. 
And not to say that you will all the time, because like I said, some of these people, they're very discreet, they're fly by night, they change their names, whatever it may be. And at that point, you just got to be cautious about what you're going to get into, right? And when you're going to give your money away or when you're going to invest your time, okay? These are all things you need to look into. So, you know, just one thing that you should watch out for are people that say that they're going to give you $10,000, but you got to go and, you know, put this check in the bank and then wire them 10000 out of it and they send you a $20,000 check. Guys, nobody's going to send you $10,000 and ask them to send you about $10,000. Um, I've seen this happen, right, with my own eyes. I've seen somebody do this. I'm like, why did you do that? Like, oh, I, you know, I got the money, but a day or two later, the bank called them up and said, hey, listen, you know, you deposited this check. You know, you probably didn't mean to do this. That's fine. We've got the money back. Um, at that point, we're going to have you come down here and you're being discharged from the bank. Okay. And that's not a cool conversation to have with a bank. And I'm sure they have it on record somewhere. You don't want to be in that boat. All right. The other things are, is, uh, you know, people look for weakness. Okay. And not to say the old people are weak, but they look to exploit them or just to exploit people that are uneducated about what they're talking about with them. Okay. They come up, they fast talk to you. You kind of think, oh man, this is the best deal. They make it really, really good. It's all polished. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a turd, right? It, it, it is what it is. You can't polish that up. So just look out for different things and different scams out there. Remember, it's up to you to educate yourself and vet yourself on the business or situation that you're going to be in. Um, and always look to professionals maybe that can help you out, whether it's an attorney uh, or a CPA or whatever it is to really check into what you're going to be giving your money to invest in um, or your time, right? And there's other companies out there um, that they want people to buy a whole bunch of product and they want to try to sell that product, but they really don't make that much money off the product. And the whole point is to get people underneath them, right? So they can sell more products so they can get more of a, a paycheck out of it. You want to watch out for different companies like that. Usually, if you're on the bottom end of that company, you're probably not going to make too much money. Okay, and a lot of people fall short. It's a great business model for the people that are very top of the pyramid, but at the bottom of the pyramid, it's no good. So just watch out for this. And, uh, you know, especially in these times right now, um, you've got a lot of different people out there that are running scams, uh, whether it's identity theft too as well. That's another big one. So make sure you're protecting all your information as much as possible. Um, and at that point, just be safe because, like I said, th this time in juncture in our environment, in the country, in the world, um, people are using all these different scams to take advantage of people like yourself or, you know, older people too as well if you're younger. Um, so at that point, these are just some tips and tricks from me uh, and Business 101 with John. I'll come to you guys with more advice and more tips and tricks to hopefully get you by and hopefully get you a dollar or maybe even save you a dollar like this video will help you do. So I'll see you guys next video. Thank you. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So this is Labor Day edition, you know, if you guys are watching this, it's Sunday, tomorrow's Labor Day, you guys are gonna hopefully be out with the family, relaxing, enjoying, you know, resting up for the week that's coming ahead, or enjoying it and celebrating Labor Day. Um, so hope you guys are having a great Labor Day or are going to have a great Labor Day, first off. Second off, Cupid's Corner, what we're all about here is giving you guys tips, tricks, insight to try to help you guys further you know, take your relationship to a whole different level, a better level, or if you're not in a relationship, maybe learn some different things that will hopefully make your new relationship very successful. Yeah. So these are just some of the things that me and Cherise have done, went through, experienced, or we've seen other people experience. Um, you know, some of the downfalls or some of the 
the don'ts or do's, I guess, the do's and don'ts of what makes a healthy, uh, flourishing relationship, right? And we always go back to one certain topic every show, and that's communication. Communication. You can't talk about it enough. And communication is big in every realm of your life, whether it's your relationship with your partner, your business relationships out there, um, just in general, man. It's, it's a big, big thing out there. So you want to always talk about communication because nobody's mind readers. And even when you're with your partner for 13, 14 years, yes, they might know what you probably will say or what you're probably thinking about, or they should at that point. I do. That long. But, you know, maybe not all the way. Maybe not. And for people that aren't around you as much, they definitely aren't going to know what no. you're thinking most of the time. Definitely not. Um, and they might think everything's all good and you might have problems in your head that you have not told them and you're holding it against them. Mm. So at that point, you want to make sure you're communicating, right? And communicating properly. Not yelling at them, not screaming at them. Um, you know, becoming frustrated. You want to you wanna communicate properly, easily, uh, so they can understand it and they absorb it. So let's get into this week's topic. <laughs> this week's topic is communication. But um, instead of telling you guys different ways to communicate and stuff like that, we're going to give you guys a little game to play at home. Oh, good luck, guys. So this game is made for couples to really learn about their partner or learn what they could do better with their partner um, so they can set themselves up for success in their relationship, right? Or even down the road. So it doesn't matter if you're just getting with your partner right now or dating somebody, this will work. Or if you've been in a relationship for 20 years, you can always go back to these, some of these questions that we're about to, you know, tell you guys, and then ask them, and you'll learn maybe some things that you maybe maybe did not know about your partner at all, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different questions you can ask your partner and communicate with. We just picked out four because we're on a time constraint. We could probably talk about this for hours and hours <laughs> on end, and I can write the whole playbook for you guys of what you guys should do. <laughs> but we only got a limited time here, so at that point, I want to just, just got to make sure you tune in every Sunday. Yeah, you got to turn every, tune in every Sunday. You'll learn more and more. As yeah, maybe we'll on. give some more questions next Sunday. But uh, you know, for this one, let's talk about four main questions. Let's break them down real quick. First one: If you could see two things changed about yourself, what would they be? So, if if you ask your partner, if there was two things you could change about me, what would they be? Right? Um, and there's a whole bunch of different examples out there. Right, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't take this as a, a shot to an insult. An insult, yeah. you know, this is not for that. This is to make you guys go further. So, if they say, "Listen, I wish that uh, you know, if I could change some things, that you didn't go out all night and spend the whole night out, right, and not call me at least," wow. that that could be one. That'd right? be terrible. That'd be one. Yeah. Right? Um, the second thing is, is um, I wish you. would and this is not for me, guys. <laughs> I wish you'd hold the, or, or put the toilet seat down after you use the toilet. Because I hate sitting on a thing. No, I almost John fall always in. fixes that, yeah. So it, it, it might even be something like a little yeah. pet peeve that really just gets on someone's, like, they might, it might irk them a little bit. And you really don't even know because nobody's ever told you. Yeah. Right? It could be something really, really minute. Yeah. And, if you, and, and every time you do it, it might be like, you know, but you don't even know because they're not telling you. Right? So yeah. you have to make sure you give them, like, if you do this exercise, you have to ask and be like, hey, listen, so if you could, what would you do? These are some basic things. Basic. These are pretty basic things and it will help, help the relationship. You know, usually people, if they love somebody truly and they're getting to know them, they take the good with the bad. So everybody has their own quirks, right? And whatever that is. And it's a lot of different things with a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. It could be you're messy, right? And somebody that you're living with or being with is not messy. And that really irks their nerves. Oh my gosh! You yeah. could, you know, be real time sensitive and want to be on time for things. And That's a big one. John, if John could change doesn't. something about me, I know that would definitely be one thing, for sure. I, I, I know for sure if he could be like, if he could answer this question, that would be one because he brings it up all the time. You know, like I, I went to military school. I'm on time for everything, and you are late for everything. Yeah. You are late. I don't like being late. I want to be punctual. Now, I agree. You know, and this is where I'm like, this is where this is the talk comes into play, right? Because it's like, okay, yeah, I, you're totally right. Like, I should definitely be on time to like business meetings or any meetings for that matter, things like that. Yes. However, I might disagree to some some extent that I don't want to be the first ones at a party or the first ones at a dinner or whatever it might be. I do like making my grand entrance after everyone else is there, right? So that's just my personal opinion. If it was up to John, John would probably be there five minutes early. 
for sure. 100%. <laughs> He'd probably be there five minutes early, 100%, you know? So 100%. it's just, a thing. that's an example though. hundred percent. You know, it, uh, I go back to some of the things like I've heard through the past, you know, girls dating. The guy didn't show up for an hour and a half late. You know, and at that point, that's the different. It's a date. You better be on time. This this goes along with everything, though. It goes along with business, right? You don't show up on time. Oh, this guy's not responsible or punctual. True, true. Th- these are these are things that you know you want to look at, right? And you want to perceive. How would you feel if you waited an hour and a half? Well, you bad. probably wouldn't feel good about it, right? Yeah. But, but oh well, what the hell were you doing? And why wasn't I, you know, first priority on the list? Or you know, what you didn't care enough about me? Or what the hell were you doing? Mm. These are just different questions that could be brought up. So I'm just <laughs> trying to set you guys up for success instead of failure. <laughs> right? um, so ask the questions. You know, if there are different things, two things, just name two because you don't want a whole bunch of lists, right? Uh, yeah, two yeah things. please do not list the laundry list of things here and make yeah. it like really, really. Don't make it a, a negative thing. This is <laughs> yeah. not a negative question. It should be a positive question and right. you guys want to learn a little bit deeper. Maybe your partner, you know, thinks these different things and, and you you don't care. You're like, oh man, if I knew that, I would have did it right away. Right. Right? That, that doesn't bother me. If it does, you guys need to talk about whatever the hell it is and come to some sort of agreement and compromise. Yeah. So what are your biggest fears about the relationship? Now, this is a pretty good question. Even in the beginning of you guys talking, dating, and you know, putting forth together the effort to, to create this relationship. Oh, because all kinds of questions, I think, in the beginning, for sure. I mean, especially this one. Like, what are your biggest fears about the relationship? Even if you've been in a relationship for six months, eight months, you know, what are the biggest fears? Cheating. And you can get cheating, right? That's um, probably top. There could be a lot of different things. Or I think you're irresponsible, right? These are, and these are going to be some serious, you know, things that you guys are going to be talking about, mm-hmm. possibly. So if it gets into that deep dive conversation, you guys can be, have to be open-minded and talk like adults about it and be mature about it, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, these could, could let you know right away in the beginning, like, oh man, she's worried about me cheating. I gotta make sure that you know, I don't give her any um, inclination. inclination or insight that I'm cheating or you know, that I wanna cheat. You know? Yeah, but if you knew this in advance, you'd be able to set it up where right. you're successful in the relationship, right. right? If you actually asked. Right. Um, you know, fears that, hey, listen, you know, you might leave me. I'm worried about people leaving me. I've had abandonment issues in my life. I've had my father or mother leave me when I was a kid, and and now that's all I think about it. I don't really want to get close to people because I'm I'm afraid they're going to abandon me, right? Uh, And there are people out there like that, man. They you know they want to get close to somebody, you know somebody finds interest, they start getting a little close, and then they start getting that anxious feeling of, you know what? Uh I'm going to push this person away because I don't want them to leave me. I don't want to be in that situation ever again in my life. Um, it could be abuse. It could be a lot of different things out there that people have past traumatic situations that have happened to them and they don't want to bring it to the new relationship or forward in their life, but it's or a go scar. Through it ag- or yeah, go through it again. It's a scar, right? And so they might put up blocks yeah, and walls. They put the walls up. Yeah. You know? So, you know, we got to think about that, right? And, you, you, you know, whoever your partner is, if you really care about them and love them, you want to give them that You'll work with them you want to give them that safety net almost right. to a degree you want to comfort them and you know you want them to feel positive about the relationship so you guys can move on and grow okay next one this is a big one for everybody i think everybody will learn from this one how can we improve our intimacy to take it to the next level now this just isn't <laughs> videos and lingerie <laughs> i just right? said that to him. That, that was the first thing she said oh people aren't just gonna say you know videos of lingerie <laughs> all right or toys okay so <laughs> You know, that's one aspect of intimacy. So when we talk about intimacy, we talk about f- physical intimacy and mental intimacy. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, males are stimulated in different ways than females. Most males are stimulated by physical touch, right, or, or, or visual. And most females are stimulated by different things. They mm-hmm. can be, you know, your IQ, your funny, ha, 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 whatever it is. <laughs> like, females are different creatures than men, right? <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit different for everybody out there. You know, some female could be like males and they just want the physical touch or whatever it is. But at that point, you guys need to talk about intimacy. And intimacy could be, like I said, mental stimulation. Um, or females, they want different things, romantic situations, right? And or maybe does, something you don't yeah. want. You, I mean, of course, I got to be the you know the negative Nancy over here. Maybe you can discuss things that you don't want. I, I got a good example. So, one thing you know, some people they do this thing called like it's called makeup. We'll call it makeup intercourse since the ABC. Um, you know, and they get into a fight, and then you know that that they they you know make love, and that makes it all better, right? 
Well, for some people, that doesn't make it all better. It, it and in fact, the whole time that you guys are, are having this moment, the other person might just be like, "This is I, I can't even connect with you right now because I'm still so upset." So and but some people, hey, listen, they might do that, and that's like their way of, "Hey, listen, we did this, and it's all over," you know. And that that blowing works, off some steam. That works for some people, you know, but for some other people, they're just I don't know, I may, just maybe not there, you know. For me, especially females, maybe just not there, you know, mentally to be able to really enjoy it or you know you guys are still in the midst of like well, females do it too so i don't think it's just a male thing that would, would uh, you i know, think it goes both this. ways for sure it, it, i think it, uh, females can do the exact same thing males can do and think that hey listen let's, oh for let's sure. have this moment and then we'll everything's just get over gonna it, be right? fine after fine. that <laughs> you know uh, and, and it's true out there so yeah. it might have happened to you and, and listen you can think about what your thoughts were in that right and just where you're at mentally and like i said Talk about these things. Talk about what can increase intimacy. Maybe it's going somewhere new, mm-hmm. right, and being together, or doing a romantic, you know, getaway or day or whatever it is. But these will increase intimacy. Talking and communicating will increase intimacy, right? It's mm-hmm. mental stimulation. So that's another one. The last one. If you had three wishes hmm. to wish for your future with your partner, what would they be? Right? Three wishes. So, me and my partner. Me and Cherise, like, what are the three wishes I, I, I would love for us to do, right? Mm-hmm. And I can say this, right? I want to I want to take our business to new heights. I want to take our family to new heights, right? And I want to take our health and make sure our health is number one priority. Just trying to go to Greece, guys. If, if we could have those three things, then I think that I would be very content, right? Because <laughs> that's, that's what I want. And you can want different things. And it could be, I want the trip to Greece. I, I wish, do. I wish we could have the trip to Greece. I want the trip to or, Greece. Or, you know, to the Turks. Or, uh, you know, I want us to buy, you know, this car. It could be anything. Right. Uh, and you'll learn more about your partner and kind of what they want. You know, and this is a good exercise to, to do that with. So it's a good one. I know that some of these questions, uh, you know, might, might be, be touchy. They might be a little touchy to, you know, in, in regards to your relationship, but I promise you, it will better your relationship. Sometimes these questions or conversations need to be brought up or they will never be brought up and you have animosity or you know you won't be happy kind of just go then then you just go with the days and it just like you know you get up you do it again and then you go to sleep you get up and you do it again it's just repetitive and you get up and do it again at some point you guys finally will just part ways it it happens you look for new excitement out there new things you know stimulus stimuli i guess of the brain or any other activities out there so uh (laughs) These are just some tips mm-hmm. and tricks for me and Sharice. These are just some of the questions. Now, there's a whole bunch out there. You guys can research this for yourself, or we might bring up some more of these questions on one of these next episodes that are coming up. So stay tuned to us every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys didn't DVR it, don't worry. We got your back. Check out YouTube. Type in Titan Medical Center. Mm-hmm. Check out our social medias on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, guys. We appreciate you tuning in. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.